Are you tired of your Sims 3 game being too laggy or perhaps your game is crashing too much without any reason? Well, we will check out in today's video in how to improve the performance of The Sims 3. I am Shen and welcome to Shen Finds Pixels. First of all, you should have in your game already in the mods folder these four essential NERAS mods, which are the NERAS Master Controller, NERAS Error Trap, which catch all the errors on its own, you will not tweak out this one, NERAS Overwatch works also on its own without any tweaking, and NERAS Story Progression. These four are necessary for this guide to make work the game in better performance all the links are down below in the vid video description so you can download them and other mods also will be in the description of the video so let's get into tips and tricks for other things to do as the first step i would recommend with nras master controller to reset the town every same week you may ask why because there is going to be a lot happening in the open world in the sims 3 and i do recommend to do that every same week because you will reduce the simulation lag so we go to the town hall we will click on the city on the NERAS, master controller, town and reset everything. When you click that it will take that some time, sometimes few minutes or seconds depends on your PC and how the world is huge. As you see now uh, reset everything happened after one minute. So 14,781 objects have been reset. So uh, basically your household will co come up at your residential lot and uh, they will be here and all their needs will be basically resetted. The second tip uh, and I feel like it's very useful is cleaning up the inventory of the all households in the town. You may ask how to do that. You go again to the town hall and you click NERAS, master controller, town, object stats and then we will go to the global. When you left click, you accept that, you can see all the objects what are in the game, in the inventories. So you do count and you see the highest number. Let's say objects book skill, which is the books for the skills. We will click that and we will accept that. And is, as you see, there are the categories of, of all the books. If you want, you can delete all of them together or you can just choose which ones you prefer by the numbers. I would do all because the Sims will buy the books again anyway. So we will just click all the objects, books, scale, left click, permanently delete all objects, book skill, yes. And as you see, you will get notification flushed 320 objects, which is amazing. So the loading up of the world will be much, much smoother for you. Also, I have only one warning. Don't delete cell phones because the Sims have them from beginning when you start the game. The last tip I have about the NERAS tools and I feel like it's very, very useful. If you are not planning to play with the pets in the world with the pets expansion, I would recommend to limit out for uh, households how many pets can be used in that world. You do so as by left click on the town hall again, NERAS, story progression, town options and uh, down below right here you will see maximum size pet. I would, uh, I would recommend to put it as one. You left click and you just drop down below the number one and that's it also you can manage also other things in the NERAS story progression in the town options and limit other things if you would like to I don't touch this much because I'm still learning them 
if you don't know that all the things I was saying uh, earlier, then you should also have the, the Sims 3 GPU add-on, which will help to recognize your current GPU for the Sims 3. This software basically does boost out the potential of your GPU. You will un unzip it and put it on the desktop or somewhere where do you think it's safe for you. You click it twice open it and it will show up this if you are using steam version i would click the steam version if you are using electronic arts application version you use the distance 3 origin it should uh, find the installation of the game by this also if you are not sure and the software doesn't find out uh, the the game i would recommend to use the type out the directory of the sims 3 or find the fo browse for the sims 3 but it should do these two icons so i am using steam version i will just click the steam version i will apply it do you see it found on my game you have the original backup files because i did that before so i will not uh, say yes but i will say no but for your first time you will say uh, yes it will apply it automatically so basically that software is very handy to use the full potential of the your current gpu and also i do recommend to run the game uh, firstly before applying this so there will be some assets loaded up in the folders all right guys now it's important to install very important tool slash mod called smooth patch 2.1 by amazing modder lazy duchess this mod will smoother the game, smoother the UI, shorter loading and will cause less lux. For any simmer I am calling out, it depends on your PC and depends how your game plays out on your system. So for any of you it will be much much different the smoother experience. So we will go here on the mod sims and there are three versions. Pay attention, the this, this TSM patch EA application, that's for the, the Sims Medieval. The Sims 3 patch EA is for the EA application or origin version. And the TS3 patch 10 is for the Steam version. I will show you in my video how to install the Steam version. So we will download it, you know, and we will open it. Again, you should have WinRAR or some tool how to open the RAR file. As you see, there are packages and three files. These three, the draw, the this, this Sims 3 patch assay and the Sims 3 patch text file will go to the basically been been uh, been a folder of the sims 3 game for the steam it would be the steam steam applications common the sims 3 game bin you put these three you drag them basically and put them right into this folder i have it already installed and put it in my uh, in my folder and that that's basically the core of the mod and to make it work fully you need also open the packages icon you open up and you put these both into the basically mod folder which depends again where do you have installed mods so for me it will be documents electronic arts the sims 3 mods packages and i do recommend to make folder called lazy duchess smooth patch or something like that so you know where do you have the smooth patch and you drag out these both into this folder that's it for this and i will also show you few tweaks for the smooth patch in the text file the first tweak we will do do with the smooth patch text file if you did install everything correctly with each version of the smooth patch uh, this one is for the steam version you will uh, locate in the bin folder under the, the sims 3 game bin the ts3 patch text file you will open it up with your text uh, text uh, editor or either wordpad or anything you, what you have 
and we will change the TPS which will boost the experience for you depends if you have the high-end gaming computer so be wary it depends on your uh, basically computer as myself I have high-end PC I did put it to 1000 if you have average computer older let's say seven eight years old I would keep it at 500 okay so that's the first tip and the second tip uh, if your monitor does support only 60 FPS, it would be wise to set up the FPS limit to 60. Or if you have higher frame rate of your monitor, I would recommend it to put it higher. So what happens in the Sims 3 game is the FPS drops. That's not actually a simulation lag, but FPS drops. Also, you can set up the game to borderless. How? You need to set up the game in the game. Uh, you need to uncheck the mark of the full screen and then you can set up the borderless to one. So if you want borderless, you just put the number one and then you can run the game borderless. But you need in the game settings, in the Sims 3 game, uh, uncheck the full screen mode to make it work, okay? And that's everything what you should know about uh, this file. So uh, I hope it will help you to improve uh, the game experience and so on. And after all the changes, you, you can close up the window and save it up. And let's check another tweaks. If you are having a gaming PC, I would recommend to boost the performance of your CPU, which we will do again. You need to be in the Steam, Steam applications, come on the Sims 3 game bin. For the origin users, you need to just find the Sims 3 game bin. We will locate a file called graphic rules, SGR, and we will open it up with the text editor. Editor. What do you need to find in this text that mess? I would uh, give you one advice. You do Ctrl F and then we will type set CPU level Uber like this you see written and then we will locate that up. What do you do here is basically you don't change this uh, this text you keep it same, the number 4 needs to uh, stay same, but as your first experience you will see different numbers, I think it's usually 3, 2, 1 or something like that. You change these three numbers to number 3, right into it, you just change the numbers to 3 and you should have a little boost for your P CPU experience for the Sims 3 game. Afterwards, when you change the CPU um, numbers, then you just again, you close up the text file and save it up. It is very important to also make the Sims 3 use the correct amount of the VM. We will to do so as follows. You again go to the, the Sims 3 game bin, the, doesn't matter of which version of the game you have, and we again locate the graphics rules SGR. You open it up again with the text editor Ooh, and then we do the Ctrl F and we need to find out set the texture memory so type that out Ooh, la, and it should be this what you need to do uh, this time you need to change the number 32 to 2048 also, one important note that if your PC does not have a dedicated graphics card, leave the value at 32. So, it's very important to know if you have the dedicated graphics card. So, yeah, always have it at 2048 if you are having the dedicated GPU. And again, you will close uh, the text file and save it up. I cannot live without this amazing and very useful tool called Regular Safe Cleaner. What this tool does, basically it will clean up your safe files from bloating up from the data 
because when you are playing for uh, long sessions basically your save file is bloating uh, higher and higher in the size and also it does help you to, to clean up the uh, cake files located in the documents folder so in the mod sims the links uh, all for all these tools are below in the description of the video we will download it the first one the ver version 3.0.3 with the net framework 6 i do suggest to have installed the net framework 6 if you don't have you will download it and of course you will open it uh, you will put this folder somewhere where do you use your tools i myself have it on my second monitor uh, on the desktop you drag hold this folder to your desktop and when you will go i have it already on my on my desktop then you will open it up and it should open up actually quickly and you and let's look as you see this interface it can be quite confusing for the first time use but don't, don't be worried guys it's really simple uh, these icons what you see are all of your basically save files and uh, i would suggest for before we will do up do the cleanup uh, we will set up the cleaning options so i do have only these two marked up which is to remove family portraits and remove portraits of uh, sims because they are as recommended and works perfectly also i would suggest to set up backup folder if anything can go wrong sometimes uh, sometimes the cleanup can cause glitches i would suggest to make uh, some backup folder for all of the save files yourself so basically before you do cleanup it will all the software will always use uh, it will save the backup and also this tool does clear the cache it is up to you which ones want wants to you clean so uh, before you load up the game you basically save up uh, or clean up the save files by just one click and as you see it will reduce the size of the files as myself it didn't reduce anything because i am using uh, this software every time before i load up the game and before you load up the game also i always clear all the cake files so i don't need to worry to do it manually every time you know it's really life saver and time saver so if you want to improve uh, the size of uh, your safe files i would suggest to use this tool but it's up to you guys it's optional i i do like it it improves also the performance for little little more and the loading for safe file is much faster for me if you are using a lot of CC and mods, hear me out now. It is very important to know sometimes which mod or custom content does cause the issues. I use myself Sims 3 dashboard tool from the mod Sims. The link is again in the description of the video. Uh, I don't use CC magic, it's m too much uh, confusing to me, so dashboard tool does it for me. And uh, you can, uh, you just again download that file and then uh, open the RAR. Again, I in recommend having some RAR tool to open it up. I would, I would make folder on my desktop and drag all the files into the folder and then i will just go to the sims 3 dashboard open it up and voila la uh it's it loaded up all the all the basically custom content mods i have in my game as you see actually i have duplication happening here do you see that guys i don't use the fix all problems myself i usually locate them manually and delete them sometimes can happen that uh, a red color corrupt 
And I would suggest to manually uh, basically delete them or remove them and then try out if the game works without any issues. It's a really handy tool and I would recommend to all of you to try time to time check out after installing some new mod or custom content to check out if there are some conflicts or either the custom content can be corrupted and trust me guys it can cause issues like glitches or either crashes so this is kind of bonus part of this video just as a recommendation to use time to time it's very helpful to analyze the issues time to time i hope you found this video guys so much useful for you i hope you found out some new tricks or tweaks or some new you know information how to basically improve the performance of the sims 3 because i know myself when i was beginning with the sims 3 in 2009 there wasn't such a tools like we have nowadays which is amazing so if you found out this video very helpful it would mean to so much a lot to me if you would give it massive thumbs up and let me know in the comments your thoughts as always and if you are new here welcome i am shen and welcome to shen finds pixel where I am posting Sims 3 content and live by you weekly news and sometimes indie games news so make sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful and let me know down below in the comments what do you think too and I will see you guys really soon so have a beautiful morning afternoon evening night whatever you live and i will see you really soon bye